today's our topic is the history. So I choose my topic as the history of the Sumya. I'd like to introduce about the Sumya's history to you guys. Uh, I used to be a member of the Sumya history in Berkshire, so I was interested in our university history. But when I saw about, when I asked to my friends, mm -hmm. they don't usually are interested in <laughs> school's history, and that's why today I'm going to tell you about the school's history. Ah, uh, okay. Middle one. Middle bottom. Middle bottom. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Since I was in university. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, before starting my presentation, I would like to ask you guys about. How much do you know about Sunyong Women's University? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She doesn't want to eye contact with me. <laughs> mm. How much do you know about Sunyong Women's University? Mm. I mean, not just the history line. Mascot? <laughs> mm. uh, <mas> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snowflake. And 100 years, more than yeah, 100 right, years right, history. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> University is established by Korean royal family mm -hmm. in 1906, and also is the first national private women's private school in Korea. And it was actually our university with founder was Queen Sunan, who was the second queen of Gojong, mm -hmm. King Gojong. And Sumyeon, actually the first name of the school wasn't Sumyeon because the um, Myeongshin Yeohakyu, it was the first name of the Sumya. And Myeongshin Yeohakyu is a part of the Sumya Women's University. And now, uh, I'd like to tell you about the Sumya's history from the Myeongshin Girls' School to oh. Sumya Women's University. But before I start uh, telling you guys about the history, I'd like to tell you about uh, what is the meaning of the Sumya. Soup, the meaning of soup is the Chinese character of the soup. It's, it makes virtuous, innocent, and gentle, and elegance. elegance. And the meaning of myung is bright, and bullion, and innocent, and intelligent. Uh, actually, uh, I'm going to tell you about the why Myeongshin Girls' School changed the name to the Sunyan Girls' School. But uh, this name was given by Queen Sunan. I'd like to tell you guys about it first. <laughs> it's just our logo. Yeah, right. So, Myeongshin Girls School. Yeah, as I told you before, Myeongshin Girls School was established by Queen Sunin, by the real family. And actually, it started with just five students in Yongdong Palace. And she, yeah, you can see that they are both very young. <laughs> and at and this is the picture of Yongdong Palace. And actually, if you visit the Sumyeon Heritage Court, there's a kind of model of, model of the Yongdong Palace. So if you saw that model, you can see that it, it was pretty big to have uh, just five students. Mm -hmm. So real family, they support very much, mm -hmm. and that they support, uh, they financial support to the Myeongshin Girls School very much, and they have a pretty high expectation about Myeongshin Girls School. And I, I just found the Yongdong Palace on this picture. I couldn't find the other picture, but yeah. And this is illustration number 468. If you visit the Sumi Heritage Hall, you can see that Myeongshi Girls School plaque and Myeongshi Girls School, technically the Myeongshi Girls School. The Myeongshi Girls flag, it was the first national flag which has girls name on it, and that's why it is still that it's the only number 468. And this is the tablet of Myeongshi Girls School. This it was given by Queen Sunan. And the second one is yeah, Sungyeon Girls High School. And now I'm gonna tell you guys about why Myeongshi Girls School changed name to Sungyeon Girls High School. Yeah, this is a picture of Yeongjin. Uh, I put the Prince Yeongjin's picture because he has kind of religion. Uh, it has a connection to Yeongjin to change the name to Sungmyeon. <coughs> Yeongjin girls' school name, name changed to Sungmyeon because 
Myeongshin was Prince name of the nickname of the Prince Myeongshin because the nickname of Prince Myeongshin was Myeongshin Jae. So most people cannot call his name freely, and this is the reason why Queen should not give a new name to Myeong. And as I told you, the, the meaning of Sung Myeong is virtue and bright. And at that time, um, actually, I'm not sure about the period exactly, but I heard that at the time students wore the purple one piece uniform. And it was the first westernized clothes uniform at the time, so I'm not sure about it, but <laughs> I've heard that most people, they glanced down when um, Sung Myeong girls high school student was in the street and who were uh, on the street mm -hmm. and they are wearing the uniform and it was the first westernized clothes uniform so most people they are very uh, concentrate mm -hmm. and they are very interesting about that uniform mm -hmm. and it was pretty unique at the time but after losing uh, the sovereignty of the nation they changed the uniform to the humble <coughs> And I'm um, so sorry about it because I want to add a more picture, but I couldn't find it. This is a picture of Ju Shi Young, and he was yeah, one of the uh, one of Sumi's teacher. I don't know how can say teacher or instructor, but anyway, he also loved Sumi very much because he has uh, two daughter, the two daughters, the Sormen, so called the Sormen and Bumme, mm -hmm. and they also uh, studied in Sumi and. Actually, the other I heard that the other people recommend their daughter to study like abroad, but he said that he want her to their oh. her uh, his daughter to study in Sumia. Oh. Yeah. Next is Sumia Women's Junior Career period, and Sumia Women's Junior Career was established because at the time there was not much high education uh, high education institution. So, so many people want to have a more higher education and so many people want to get a more higher education and also so many people want to have a higher education institution. So, lawyer family and so many people, so many students, they are finding their support to the Sumya to be a Sumya Women's Junior Career. Oh. And this is the, I guess you can know that who is that woman and she is Choi Sun Yi, one of the international dancer. And and she was um, from Sunyang as well. Mm -hmm. And at that time, she heard the performance for the raising the raising fund to establish Sunyang Women's Junior Cruise. Mm -hmm. And this is the actually in the Heritage Hall, in Sunyang Heritage Hall, there are so many postcards. Oh. And also, they exhibit the album in there. So you can see the album and postcard at the time if you visit there. And the next is Sumya Women's College Career. Um, I'm so sorry about that <laughs> I didn't put the demo picture, I couldn't find that. But uh, Sumya Women's Career, and at the time, uh, Sumya Women's Junior Career is upgraded to Sumya Women's Career in 1948. But 1950, the Korean War was broken, so so many people moved to the Busan. And in Busan, we have a temporary school at that time. Mm -hmm. But actually, I I tried to find the picture, but I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, at that time, they started the Sumya student heart in that temporary school, and then they graduated in there. Ah. And, and after this fire, they come back to Changpa. Mm -hmm. Changpa campus. The last one is Sungyeong Women's University. Oh. So, <laughs> so when I asked my the uh, my friends who is in the, another university, I asked them to what do you think about when you think about Sungyeong Women's University, what comes to mm. you first? And they say that the look Hong book and the RTC. It was our university is that uh, execute the RTC. It was the first woman RTC, and the Kodong is the very famous cooking school oh. in France. And we have um, actually 
I'm not sure about this uh, major very well, <laughs> because I don't know about this major very well, but I've heard that this major is more cons uh, concentrate on the management and not cooking, but also this major also one of the high main, how, how can I say that, famous major, <laughs> high major, I don't know how can I call that, but anyway, it was also one of the major in Sunya. <coughs> and actually, there is a very long history that I want to tell you guys, but I guess I don't have enough time, so I'd like to introduce about this uh, I introduced already introduced about Tracy Yi. She was an international dancer, also from the Sunya. And I would like to introduce about two people more. Mm -hmm. the, this one is Park Zahe. This picture is the Park Zahe's picture. She was activist for independent movement, and also she made the um, activist group for nurse in Korea. We call the Kanuhe, mm -hmm. and she was. Uh, she was a Park Kwasong. Her, her name is Park Kwasong, and she wrote the, the longest novel. How can I say that? Uh, she wrote the novel. Okay. It was the first uh, novel in Korea for women. Mm -hmm. How can I say that? Uh, in Korea. It's Korea. Korea. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>